Hey everybody and welcome to Tuesday. Tuesday is here and we're another day down in this week. I almost flubbed up those words because I don't speak well. <laughs> anyway, uh, today is going along just fine. I've been a pretty busy morning for me uh, as far as work goes, but I have managed to get a load of laundry started and another one finished up. I've already ran the vacuum or the Roomba because I don't actually run the vacuum ever, but the Roomba has been going all morning. So it's kind of peaceful and quiet now that it's not running all over the place. So that's a bonus. So next up will be mopping. I know that's exciting, right? Thrilling as it can be. As you can see, I have a candle burning back here in the corner. Um, these are actually candles that I got a while back, actually. Um, I believe the candle company has changed names since I bought these candles. Uh, but they are Disney-inspired scented candles. This is not sponsored, just so you know. Um, so these are Disney inspired candles and I bought them because I do love Disney as you know and I like the scents of Disney and uh, so I'll show you the one I've got in my hand because uh, the other one is burning and it's kind of hot uh, but this is the one I am holding right now uh, it's from Anthology Candle this one's called Soaring Over uh, it's supposed to smell like uh, the smells you get when you're riding Soarin uh, but this is the old Soarin that's how you know because it's oranges um, the scent itself is very orange and kind of plasticky uh, so it's like a fake orange so I don't really care for the smell too too much as you can tell I have not burned it very much uh, but the one burning right now is called Haunted Manor it's themed around the Haunted Mansion uh, so it has that musty old house smell which you would think ew why would you want to burn that honestly it smells really really good uh, and I like it I also like the other one they have which is called Black Pearl um, I have another one as well somewhere. I don't remember which one it was. Oh, Splashdown uh, is the other one that I have, which is supposed to be um, the scent that you get when you're on um, Splash Mountain. Uh, Black Pearl being the Pirates of the Caribbean and Haunted Manor being the Haunted Mansion. Um, so I really do like their candles. Uh, they're not too bad. I think they were like 20 bucks a pop uh, for this size. I think this is an 8 ounce jar and maybe a little bit bigger than an 8 ounce jar but they do burn really long which is kind of nice and they cast a pretty good scent uh, across the room um, so for example the Haunted Manor right now is burning and I can smell it in the rest of the house even though I'm in my office uh, but I do like the black pearl one as well um, it has that nice kind of mellow smell to it which I kind of like as well um, there are several other Disney scented candle companies out there now um, there is uh, one that I'm interested in looking into. It's called Wed Cam Candle Company, I believe is what it is. I keep seeing ads for it uh, on social media. And uh, there's also a Magically Scented that I hear on Sorcerer Radio all the time. I've yet to try either one of them yet um, because, you know, I don't buy a lot of candles because I do make my own candles. Um, and if you've watched for any length of time, you may know that. Uh, I do make my own candles. I actually have an Etsy store. Uh, I'll put a link for it down below. I haven't updated it in a pretty good while, uh, but I do have a pretty good number of candles on there. They're not Disney inspired. Uh, the company that I, the shop that I opened is called Places Candle Company, uh, and it's since inspired by different places that you may visit or go. Uh, so one of the bigger sellers is the Tennessee Whiskey. Um, everybody likes that one because it smells like, uh, well, Jack Daniels, uh, but it also smells like aged wood. Uh, and there's a few other, you know, layers to it. It's not just straight up whiskey. Uh, so your house doesn't smell like you're being drunk all day long. Uh, but uh, there are several Disney companies that I'm interested in looking into. Um, I, I'm pretty sure this company does not have the same name anymore. I want to say they've changed names since I bought these a while back. But um, they, I'm really interested in some of the other ones. Um, they also have, most of them sell things like uh, Rome's Burning, which is the uh, Rome is Burning scene in um, Spaceship Earth. A lot of them do a, a Soren type candle. Um, I think the Web Company does like three or four different scents uh, for that. Um, and I've really thought about recreating them myself uh, because I do have my own candle making abilities and I know how to do it and I have done it and what have you. But I just have not been able to pinpoint the scents uh, that I would really need to create some of them because I really would like to recreate some of the Haunted Mansion scents or maybe the um, the pirate water which a lot of people will complain about the pirate water because technically the smell you smell when you go that musky smell if you've ridden Pirates of the Caribbean 
that musky smell you get when you first walk in is really not a scent. I mean, I think Disney does pump a scent into the ride of sorts. I did notice there's scents of rum uh, throughout the attraction, and there's other scents of like a burning smell. But the big smell you really smell when you go into Pirates is actually just bromine, uh, or bromine, however you want to say it. Um, and that's actually the chemical that they use to treat the water, both for any water, right, that they have actually. Uh, but uh, you notice it more in things like Splash Mountain and uh, Pirates because it's enclosed. So the scent doesn't dissipate uh, as easily as it would say on Cali River Rapids, which is not enclosed. Um, and it's basically where the chemical is reacting with the uh, bacteria or whatever it's destroying. So it gives off that smell. Uh, I actually use bromine in the hot tub uh, versus uh, chlorine because it's softer on the skin and it's not as harsh of a chemical. Uh, so I use that in the hot tub. So it's funny, every time I get in the hot tub I make a joke that, oh, it smells like the Pirates of the Caribbean in here. Uh, so that's the thing. I really thought about recreating my own, but I just haven't done it yet. I've kind of pushed my candle making to the side uh, to focus on other things that need to be done. Uh, they just sit there online for sale, so if you're interested in any of them, please let me know. Or, you know, or just purchase one. I'll ship one out to you, no problem at all. Uh, but uh, I do just like making them and enjoy making them myself personally. Um, I have a few that I started on and then I just I got so busy that I was not able to continue making them. Uh, and I kind of put a pause on it back when I started vlogging uh, just because between vlogging and work and life and transitioning from everything because when I first started vlogging I had just I was just shy of like a couple of weeks of transitioning to work at home. So it was a new a new life for me. So it was kind of hard to kind of balance it all out and get it where it needs to go. Um, selling candles on Etsy is a little difficult uh, because a lot of people do like to smell things before they purchase them. Uh, I know I do sometimes. Uh, now I did not smell these of course prior to purchasing them. I just took the risk. Uh, their candles are pretty expensive. Uh, most of them are. The Disney scented candles are. They range anywhere from $14 to $20 a pop um, versus my candles, which I sell for like seven bucks, uh, which, you know, is not very expensive because I don't see the need in overpricing uh, for anything. But there you go. That's what I did. That's what I do. And that's who I am. So what we're going to do today is I was looking at videos and I actually watched a good friend of mine, Maggie's video. I'll put a link to her channel up above here. Um, I was watching one of her videos and she was doing a 2017 Christmas list. What does she want for Christmas for 2017? And I was like, hmm, what do I want for Christmas for 2017? But then I thought, wait, everybody wants the same stuff. They want basic things. What if we took it to the next level and we did Christmas 2017? extreme shopping list yeah so I think my 2017 Christmas extreme shopping list would go with something a little like this so the first thing on my 2017 Christmas extreme shopping list and you're welcome to purchase this and it to me if you want to is a zebra I want a zebra I've always wanted a zebra I did my research on that you can actually keep zebras uh, just like you do horses uh, you just keep them in a fence with a stable and yes, you can legally keep a zebra in your home. Well, not in your home. I mean, I guess you could if you wanted to. I just think it would be really messy. But you can actually keep zebras in a fenced -in area. And conveniently, I have enough land. I could probably run a zebra uh, as long as I had a small barn. So that would be the second thing on my list. I need a small barn uh, because I don't have a barn. So I need a zebra, maybe two, and a barn. So that would be number one. I mean, who wouldn't want a zebra? They're cute. They're stripy. I'd probably ride it through town on parade days or stuff. Because you know, we have parades in town for like holidays and festivities and things like that. So everybody's always riding horses or donkeys. How cool would it be if I went riding through town on a zebra? I mean, come on. That would be awesome. The second best thing would be a giraffe. And I don't think I can have a giraffe at home. I could be wrong. I should probably do some research on that. The next thing on my extreme Christmas shopping list that I'd probably want, if I could have anything I ever wanted, would probably be, I don't know, maybe a mansion? Hmm? Yeah, a really nice house would be good. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy my house. It is small, uh, you know, and it's not the largest house in the world by any means, uh, but it suits me just fine. It's on a nice bit of property. I'm out in the middle of nowhere away from everyone, so that's kind of enjoyable for me, but a mansion could be kind of nice. 
um, something old school. I really do like turn of the century farm homes, um, you know, because I like the style. They put a lot of care and work into the design of them at the time versus modern homes where it's just kind of like everything's cookie cutter. Um, older homes tend to be more custom. Uh, so I would really like to have, I don't know, maybe nice something with four big columns in the front, maybe some ironwork. Think Haunted Mansion Disneyland, uh, but maybe a little bit more on steroids. Something a little bigger. But that leads also to my fourth thing on the list is I'm going to need some maid service, uh, possibly a butler as well, because honestly, that's the only other thing that I would need because I sure the heck wouldn't want to dust and clean that entire house. I mean, even my Roomba probably couldn't do that entire house. So yeah, number four would be maid service to go with the mansion. You can do a year subscription for me. That's fine. Number five on the list would probably be, of course now I have a mansion, right? Because you got me a mansion with maid service or butler service uh, for at least a year. So now that you've got me that for Christmas, the next thing would probably be making sure that that's on a big enough piece of land. Because the next thing I would want would be a really big piece of land. So they're going to have my own roller coaster and maybe even my own water ride. Or at least a really long water slide with an escalator so, or, or a conveyor belt system so I don't have to walk up the hill to get to the top of it. That would be really nice. They don't set you back too much. You can buy you a wooden roller coaster from one of the best designers or even a steel roller coaster for some of the best designers for a mere, you know, five to twelve thousand, twelve thousand, five to twelve million dollars. I mean, who doesn't have five to twelve million dollars just laying around? I know I don't, but you might. And if you're watching this, you could probably hook me up, right? Maybe? No? You don't have twelve million dollars laying around? Hmm. Well, I guess one of us is going to have to hit the lottery. It's probably going to be me. But if you hit it, please share. I'll take it. Of course, we're talking about Christmas list right now. So... I'll take one of those. I'll take both, actually. If you want to get me a roller coaster and a water ride of some sort, I'm cool. I like the log rides. Um, the longer, the better, because I like to lay back in them and relax, because I think they're kind of relaxing when you're floating along down the little river. But a river raft ride wouldn't be too bad either. I would take either. I mean, hey, it's a gift. You're picking. I'll let you choose. Number six on my list would probably be, and again, we're talking extreme Christmas list, I want to rent out Disney World. I don't want to rent out the entire place, but just the parks. I want to rent out each one of the parks. So that would be a great gift for me. You can rent out each one of the parks one day each. That way I can ride all the rides I want as many times as I want. No lines, no crowds, no people. And hey, if you get it for me as a gift, I will bring you along too. Of course I'll bring you along too. I mean, how much fun would that be? Just you, me, and maybe like, I don't know, five or ten other people that we know or we're really good friends with or maybe family and it would just be us running the parks for that entire day. I mean think about that. You could ride the Haunted Mansion a million times and never have to get off because you're the only people there. Or you could ride the Pirates or Splash or Space Mountain even. And I mean that would be just so awesome. You wouldn't have to wait in line for anything and you could just wander about. All the shows you would have front row seats and you'd have the best viewing for the fireworks and the parades, you would be right there up front. You could meet every single character that they had out for the day because there would be no line. And if you've ever been to Disney, you know the lines are long, especially in the summer or around holidays. The lines are extremely long. So think about it. That would be an awesome gift. And I would share it with you. So maybe that's what you should get me for Christmas. Rent out Disney World. While we're talking about Disney and things that we might want for Christmas like that, why not just give me a trip? I would love a trip to Disney. That's not overly extreme. I know. But when I say extreme, I mean extreme. I want a trip to every Disney. Not just Disney World, but Disneyland, and the ones in Paris, and China, and where's it, Tokyo, and all those great places. You can just give me a trip around the world to all of the Disney parks so I can see them all and explore them. And, you know, why not? Just go ahead and pay for the, you know, a month or two months off from work so that I can travel too. That would be really nice. But again, we're talking about extreme, right? So not just travel to them, but maybe rent them out as well. So we can just go all as a group. Yeah, I think that sounds like a fun idea. But we're if we're going to go super duper extreme, one of the things that I've always wanted, that I've always wanted to do, would be to own my own amusement park. Don't get me wrong, I would never be able to compete with Disney by any means. But you know, if you wanted to buy me a plot of land and give me a heck of a lot of money for Christmas so that I could purchase 
all the attractions and have all the construction done that I wanted done, that would be awesome because I've always wanted to own my own amusement park. I do play Planet Coaster on my laptop, so if you play Planet Coaster, you know what I'm talking about, or Roller Coaster Tycoon, if you remember that. Uh, but I do love roller coasters and amusement parks, uh, and so that would be one amazing gift. Even if you couldn't afford to take me to Disney and rent it out for me, I'll take a big, big piece of land and the ability to spend as much money as I needed to create an awesome custom theme park. That would be amazing. I'd probably house water rides and roller coasters and there'd be shows. And of course, because you bought it for me, guess what? I'm going to give you one special thing. I'm going to give you and one other person a lifetime pass to come anytime you want for free, never having to pay for food, drinks, or anything. And even if I didn't do like a fast pass service, guess what? I'm going to also give you the opportunity to ride everything you want without ever having to wait in line. So see, not only are you giving me a gift by buying me all this land and giving me the money to build everything, I'm also giving back to you. That's the glorious part is Christmas is all about giving. It's not about receiving. So, of course, if you give me something, I'm going to turn it around and make it so you get a benefit out of it, too. Just like if you buy me a mansion with a maid service. Think about it. I can throw a party for your birthday in your honor just because it's a random Thursday. And not only will you have a party in an awesome house with a water ride and possibly a roller coaster in the backyard, but you're also going to not have to worry about cleaning anything because you're going to have a maid service and a butler service possibly if, if you splurge a little bit, who might also be able to cook and service and cater the food. I mean, how awesome would that See, I'm a giving person. Giving. I'm giving back to the people. That's what y'all want. You want to be able to get something on Christmas. It's not about the receiving. So everything I get, I just want to turn around and help you enjoy it as well. So it's kind of like a double whammy, right? So extreme, extreme stuff. That's what I want. All right, well, in all seriousness, uh, for 2017 Christmas, the only thing I really want is everyone to just be happy and get along um, and to really have a safe and happy season. Um, you know... I never expect anything. Um, with my family, I know we always do exchange gifts, uh, and I know with my friends we do exchange gifts, but I really and honestly don't expect it. Um, I, I do expect it, but I don't expect it to be anything extreme. Um, I typically don't ever even ask for anything for Christmas. Now, of course, when I was a kid, I did. Who didn't when they were a kid? Um, everybody wanted something like a toy car or a doll or uh, a computer or a TV or whatever it was, but personally, I don't ask for those things. Uh, my mother asks me every year what I want for Christmas, uh, and I typically tell her the same thing. I want a BMW or a Mercedes um, and a million dollars. And I mean, I don't ask for much, but uh, I always say that jokingly because I know that that's not really what I want, um, and I know that's not what I'm going to get. Um, I'm a very simple person when it comes to it. I actually made this suggestion last year at Christmas uh, because our family, my, my family is large uh, to, to shop for. I actually made the suggestion that we do handmade gifts uh, versus doing store-bought gifts. Uh, of course, that's not going to fly because everybody does not craft or, or sew or, or, or knit or anything to create handmade gifts. Uh, so, of course, that's not going to fly very well. But I kind of like that idea of handmade gifts and handmade items. Um, when somebody gives me something that they've handmade or drawn or crafted or created, I cherish that so much more sometimes than a physical object. That's me. I really don't need anything for 2017. Uh, I do like personal items uh, if I do get anything. So my really biggest wish for 2017 Christmas list is not a mansion. It's not fancy cars. It's not renting out Disney for me to enjoy with my friends and family every single day when it's rented out. Of course, if you really wanted to, I would not be opposed to that. Um, but really and honestly, it's just a world where we can come together and enjoy some time with the people we love and have peace for, for even a day so that we can all enjoy time together. Uh, that's really all I would want for Christmas. Um, just peace and happiness and health for everyone because really and honestly it's just all about giving 
and I want to give back by having everyone enjoy it uh, and at least be able to spend time with their family uh, because that, that to me is the important part uh, is being with your family uh, and your friends. If nothing comes my way for Christmas morning and Santa doesn't come down my chimney, which I don't have a chimney, actually I do, but it goes to the basement, so I don't know why he would want to go in the basement, but whatever, whatever floats his boat. Um, if he doesn't come down my chimney on Christmas morning uh, or Christmas Eve, I'm okay with that. Um, plus, I'm pretty sure I'm on the naughty list all the time anyway, so not a big surprise there. But that's kind of what I look forward to for Christmas. Of course, we can always dream and have extreme ideas of what we want for Christmas, but really and honestly, at the end of the day, all I need to be happy is that breakfast on Christmas morning, a couple of laughs, we usually play a board game, you know, when we spend time together around the Christmas tree and a fire at my mom's house. Then I come home and I veg out on the couch and watch TV and probably order Chinese food because nothing is open on Christmas Day except for Chinese food. That's all that's ever open. Uh, except for movie theaters. I don't understand that either. I don't, I don't get the movie theater on Christmas thing. But at least here, the only thing open on Christmas Day is Chinese. So you either cook or you have takeout, and uh, more than likely it'll be takeout for me. Uh, because I don't plan that far in advance to think about what I should uh, cook for dinner that evening. Uh, but Christmas does fall on a Monday, which is going to throw me out of wackadoodle this year. Because normally I go to the grocery store on Monday. I'm very routine when it comes to that. So I'm going to be all out of whack uh, for Christmas Day. But we got a whole, almost a whole month before that gets here. And, yeah, so I've got some time to think about it. But, as far as it goes for the extreme gifts, I wouldn't turn it down if you wanted to throw one my way. Alright, everybody, well, that's the end of the day for me. I'm fixing to go get ready for dinner. Uh, I haven't decided what I want to cook yet. I usually grocery shop for about four meals a week. And I really don't know what I want to make tonight. So, that's all up in the air for right now. But, I am going to cook something. I've got another load of laundry going, and I just finished running them up. Woohoo! I know, thrilling, right? So, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed uh, learning what my extreme Christmas list would be. Um, if I was to really go above and beyond of what a normal person would want for Christmas. Um, it's all in jest and jokes, so it's for fun, right? I mean, ultimately, if you could have anything in the world, what would you want for your extreme Christmas list? What would you want? Would you want a zebra? Would you want Disney rented out for yourself? Or maybe be able to go and guest star as a character on The Walking Dead? Maybe that's your thing. Let me know in the comments down there. I try to read them if there are any. <laughs> Um, so leave me a comment, let me know what you want on your extreme Christmas list, um, because I like to know, and you never know, I could hit the lottery tomorrow, and maybe I could buy it for you for Christmas. Never know. So anyway, I'm wrapping up the day, and, uh, closing it out. If you are not yet, and you want to be, which you should want to be, make sure you hit the subscribe button down to, down below. Good gracious, it's not that been a long time. It's not been that long of a day. Why am I flubbing up every word I say? Anyway, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure you hit up on my social media stuff. I actually learned how to Snapchat somewhat yesterday. So maybe I'll start posting there more. Who knows? Either way, make sure you follow all of that if you, if you like. If not, do it just for laughs, right? I mean, you make fun of me. I don't care. So I will see you guys on the other side. Till tomorrow.